السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. Um, welcome to this um, Madrasat al Munsiyat class. And um, tonight, inshallah, we'll be treating Ikhm al Fa'il, which um, means the agent noun. So, and we are continuing the treatment of Nahu al Wabih, Fi Qawain al Lugat al Arabiya, which is um, the book that we have been treating so far. And we are on our book three. So, our topic for today, as I asked earlier, I said, is Ikhm al Fa'il. And that is what we call the agent noun. So, what is this nullifying or the agent noun? So, let's, we have treated this topic before in um, Sorufu um, several and inshallah will share the link with us so that we can um, also view the previous videos that have been um, shared. So, what is this nullifying? So, we are told that this nullifying. Ismun Masuhun is that ismu. That is the first thing we have to know. That is that ismun masuhun is dalalati ala ma fa'ala al fa'il. That it indicates the person or the entity that performs the noun, the verb. So we have a verb, and the function of the ismun al fa'il is to show us who performed the, um, that verb, which entity performed that verb. وَهُوَ مِنْ ثُلَاثِيٌّ عَلَى سُورَةِ فَاعِلٍ That if it is from a field of thulati, let's say for example we have a field that is in the shape of fa'ala. So when we um, want to form it, عَلَى سُورَةِ فَاعِلٍ It will come onto the shape of what? فَاعِلٍ So that is recognized and it's from the fa'il in a sentence. Is going to be in, when it is in Sulafi form, it takes the shape of Fa'ilun. Wa min goyri Sulafi, ala surati mudore'ihi. That if it is not in Sulafi, it is going to be in the shape of the mudore'ah. Let's say, for example, we have something of the shape of Af'ala. So they said, we, you look at the shape of the mudore'ah. Let's say Af'ala becomes Yuf'ilu in mudore'ah. بِإِبْدَالِ حَرْفِ الْمُدَوْعَةِ What is our حَرْفُ الْمُدَوْعَةِ بِإِبْدَالِ حَرْفِ الْمُدَوْعَةِ By changing the حَرْفُ الْمُدَوْعَةِ What is our حَرْفُ الْمُدَوْعَةِ This is our حَرْفُ الْمُدَوْعَةِ So So مِيمًا مَضْمُومًا So we change this حَرْفُ الْمُدَوْعَةِ To a meme that has This يُفْعِلُ For example and we take it out and it becomes what we put a mean that has dumma. Me man was mumma san wa kesri ma kobla al ahi. So it will be in the shape of the mudawa, but we change it here yeah, to a mean that or any harmful mudawa that we have there. And the second to the last letter, we give it a castle. So this is ailu becomes what move ailu in its will find. So Similarly, so similarly, we are going to also do the same way for other shapes of um, rubai and above. For example, let's say we also have something under the shape of what? Fa'ala. What is going to happen? It's going to become yufa'ilu. It's going to become yufa'ilu. And what? When, it, when we want to turn it into it, Add a mim dogma, we replace the half of the mudora with a mim dogma, and it becomes what move ilu. So let's assume that so that is what an example of buying. So it becomes mufa ilu. Sorry, so this same shape mufa ilu. So this same shape we are going to have far ila in the mudora, it becomes what you find. And then we want to turn it to its modified, we just replace this half of the with a name having dogma. And the second to the last letter is going to have what? Castle. So this is Rubai and Abu. Even if we have, for example, something that is in the shape of a uh, Khumasita, such as Tafa Ayla. So let's say we have Tafa Ayla. And we know that the Mudori of Kumasita is going to have the second to the last letter is going to have a fatha. So yeah, tafa'ilu. 
But when we want to turn it into an ism we find, like we said, what do we do? If dali half al mudawa, we change the half al mudawa to a mim dumma, wa kasi ma kabla al akhir. So, and this, we take the second to the last letter, we give it a kasi. So what's the second to the last letter? Or oh, ain. So it becomes mutafa'il. So that is how we form ismul fa'il. If it is in sulati, it is going to take the shape of what fa'il. But if it is in uba'i or any other um. Was um, Alzanda Abu Abu Mudai? We are going to turn it to Mudoza, then we remove the, we replace the half of Mudoza with a Mim Dumma, and the second to the last letter, we give it Kasro. So that is how we arrive at um, Ismail Fai. And we are going to just give us a few examples of um, Ismail Fai, so we can look into our textbooks if we have them, and we will just look at these examples and how do we translate them. So, um, the first example here is Soda for the Gulam. The boy spoke the truth, or the boy was truthful. So, when we turn it to Ismail Fai, and what for the Gulam saw the Kun. So, Ismail Fai, it points towards the agent now, the performer of the action. So, it means that we are saying that the boy performs the action of being truthful. So, for the Gulam saw the Kun. The boy is truthful. So if we look at the um, the second example, Nadim al the the oppressor regretted. Fazolimu Nadimun. So the oppressor is regretful, is in a state of regret. So one thing we will notice about this movie fine is that it is a wasful. We use it to describe, and this is the most common of the Aosofu Savon, that is the seven um, adjectives that we have in Arabia. Ismail Fahim is the most commonly used among them. So we find out that in sentences, we usually find it in a place where it is being used as a khabar or a knife. That's a, 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 um, that's a khabar and a knife. That is, um, those are the places that you mostly find Ismail Fahim, and it's the most commonly used of the Aosofu Sabah. So we'll go to the next example. Sawah al-Lissur al the thief stole the property. What is our family here? We have Sarwako, which means he stole. So now when we take it into its modifying shape, it becomes Palisu Sarikun. So the thief the the thief is a stealer, basically. That's what it would mean literally. So the thief is a thief, or the thief is a stealer, which is not actually a real word, but you can see that that is how it literally translates in our video. So the first um, example we have here, Gorosa al Bustaniyu Ashajago. Gorosa it means he planted. Gorosa al Bustaniyu Ashajago. The gardener planted a tree. So Gorosa is our king. And when we turn it into small fine, we have Gorison. So it becomes Fal Bustaniyu Gorison. So how do we translate that? I believe you know that already. The gardener who is what is a planter or is planting, somebody that plants. Um, if you look at the fifth example, the the thief, the man sinned. So yeah, we now have what we now have a rubani. So uh, like you said before, as so as never, as never, the um, the man sinned. So when we want to um, make it into a small fine, we have to take it to Modore first, it becomes used Nibu, and then finally we remove the how we replace the how to Modora with Mim Dumma, and then give the second to the last letter a castle, and it becomes Mud Nibu. So Farodulu Mud Nibu, the man is a sinner. So we do um, the, the sixth example we have here in Koto and Gusnu, the branch broke or the branch cut off. So Falugusnu mun cut So the branch is cut off. So or the branch is broken basically. Um next one at Konosonia al Amala. The um the worker perform um, perfected his work. So at corner is our final here. And then when we make it into this modifying shape, it becomes mutkinun. 
that is a perfect of to personify mutkin the worker is a perfectionist or a perfect of or is an excellent worker basically now istajab allah ad-du'aha allah Allah answered his dua. Allah replied the prayer. Allah replied the prayer. So our failure got is tajaba. So just like we said, whether it is Rubai or Kumasi or Sudasi, it is the same way of forming the Ismail Fai. It becomes what? It we take it becomes mudor, we take the mudore of istajaba, which is um yestajibu, and we put a mim having dumma at the beginning instead of halful mudora. And the second to the last letter, which is the gym in this case, is now as what a castle. That is um a with a yaumadi. So it becomes Fallahu Mustajibu. So Allah is the replier or the answerer of prayers. So that is um basically the good lesson on Ismail Fail. And we have explained that Ismail Fail is the agent now, which is which indicates the performer of a verb. So if you, um, if you have not watched the previous videos on this modifying and that is helpful, also follow the links that will be shared inshallah and you can also watch them to give you to the link that the links that are shared in the comment section. So all look at them after this video and to get more um, exposure on the use of this modifying. So that brings us to the end of today's lesson. Subhanakallah wa bihamdik. Nashada an la ilaha 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 ilaha